Hi guys, just going to get started on the radio control conversion for this Poundland Racex Turbo Power. Um, when I say get started on the radio control conversion, what I'm going to get started on is taking the dimensions so I can 3D print a suitable chassis for it. Just need to go and get a screwdriver. Right, I think these are three pounds in Poundland. I actually picked this one up in a charity shop for £1.50, so I saved myself a whole £1.50. Looking at it, it's another one of these ones that possibly is used for multiple purposes. Um, the general chassis and that. So there's clearly a speaker output there for one of those ones that makes noises. This one's actually a friction one. And the friction motor has come loose in there anyway. So I might just put it back together temporarily so we can see how it would work if it was brand new. But I need to know the dimensions between these screw holes. I want to use those to put my 3D printed chassis in place. We we'll need to know the distance between the axles and well the other general dimensions. I think let's have a look. Yeah, we can't quite use these to measure that distance. We can measure that way. Let's have a look inside anyway see what we've got. You can always count this as a teardown video then. We're sitting at this desk so I'm actually editing one of my videos on the screen there. So while that's doing that Put that there, my fingers stick into it. Yeah, while that's editing and I can keep an eye on it, I can do this. Usually when you've got an add-on bit like that, it's where they've used the same chassis for more than one body shell. So that's the bits I want to measure. And distance across there. This is very similar to those smaller ones that I did. Um, that gap there looks like it's it's got little raised bits on it so the chassis sits into there and is held in place. This bit can be unscrewed on the back there. I would say there was even holes there you could put LEDs in the lights if you wanted. You can see the hole through there. Same at the back end, so you could get this one working with lights as well. So, yeah, this is the bit that's come loose, and that's quite simple. That's just popped out. I'll lift it right out. Can I lift it right out? No, I can't lift it right out without taking the wheels off, because the top of the wheel arch is getting in the way. 
So we'll just see if we can pop that back in place. Okay, that's back in place. So that's your flywheel motor. pretty sure I've discussed this with people in the past but that little bit of plastic on top there is just to make a noise can we lift that out of the way right no noise And when the body shell's on there, that makes a, a louder noise. Probably can't even pick it up on the microphone on the camera. I'm sure that's all that's for. It's just to make a noise. Then other things we can see, that little box there is clearly where there could be an on-off switch. The label is covering it cleverly. Oh, there's even more information there that makes it clear this is multi-purpose. But yeah, that, that is where there would be an on-off switch. No, take that back. No, that's not where the on-off switch goes. No. That's where, as it says just there, I don't know if the camera will pick that up. 3 1.5 AG13 LR44 batteries. Let's refocus. There you go. Now we can see that. So that's where you would have three little batteries and you'd have a sound system on here, which is why you've got the microphone, uh, not microphone, speaker position there. So on a different version of this car, you probably have buttons on top where there's two holes there. So it makes engine noises. Yeah. So there you go, another multi-purpose body shell. Come across that quite often. Yeah, that's definitely a noise maker. Anyway, I got completely sidetracked there because I told you all I was doing was measuring the gaps. So I'll do that now. I'll take those measurements and transfer it to 3D printer or 3D design Tinkercad. I might just put this, this back on again and give that a push through the kitchen. So this is just so you can hear that noise that I was talking about. With the body shell on, it's much louder. If I was a youngster who wasn't used to having a radio controlled car or something and just wanted to push along. That's brilliant. And it's just that little bit of plastic on the flywheel motor that makes that noise. 
just spotted another bit that I missed on the tear down. This little bit on the front comes off as well. So again, I would say that piece there is a standard chassis for a selection of body shells. And then that bit makes the, sh the chassis fit the front of that body shell. And that bit makes the chassis fit the back of the body shell. Whereas that bit in the middle, I suspect, is common to a few different body shells. Can't prove it because I haven't bought the whole set. I've just bought the one. But that's what I would think. Those are bits that make it fit to different body shells. Thanks for watching. If you want more information, check down below in the video description. If you like this video, you might like this one up here. And if you want to subscribe, you can check out my channel over here. Up here is my latest video on my channel, and down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched. Thanks again for watching.